Yo, what's up, crew? How's everyone doing today? It's good to see you guys. Appreciate everyone stopping by. Welcome back to some more uh, Cracktopia Survival. Today, we're going to check out the new update that just came out today. Um, that added uh, the new biome here, which I believe is the autumn biome, I think they call it. I can't remember what the actual term for it is. But um, I don't think we're actually going to progress the story today. I think we're really just going to go check out the new stuff and just see what's up with the new update and all that. I was looking at some of the patch notes. And apparently they opened up the caves, so we may have to go check out uh, some of the caves, see what that's about. But apparently the caves are like, wicked dangerous, so I don't know how that's gonna go. But yeah, I guess we'll see, and we're already over here at the new area. Basically at the front entrance. But yeah, it looks like the snow biome's still locked off here, still looks like there's that little border there. And it appears that they, um quest uh stuff on the actual map now so you know where to get all those little quest materials so that's pretty cool get the carnivorous pr uh, plant the alexandroid meadow so that's kind of cool that they did that actually that's gonna be super helpful for uh, newer players anyway i'm a little past that at this point <laughs> but yeah let's go check out this new area here and again i hope everyone's having a good one today and i uh, appreciate you guys stopping by Okay, that was a little weird. <laughs> I was just ice skating there. But yeah, uh, today's probably not going to be the longest stream. I have like a million things to do IRL today. So we'll probably just be on here for like an hour or so. Just kind of exploring the new stuff. See what's up. I wonder, is that a new material? Or is that just iron? That's silver. Okay, so that's not new. But yeah, I mostly just want to go through and kind of see what the new stuff is. Um, how's it going? I only just, uh, pinged you. Oh, got your ping on the YouTube for the Discord. No worries, coffee. I hope you're having a good one today. Oh, it looks like, um, they actually updated the visuals on this a little bit here. Now these got purple borders. I wonder why only the keys have the borders, though. Oh, no, that's kind of cool, either way. I think I need to make some space just so we can pick up some of this new stuff if we find it. Let me just get rid of a few things here we don't need. Alright, that should be fine for now. But yeah, like I said, this probably won't be the longest stream though, just because I got a million things to do today. But I definitely want to check out some of this new stuff. This building's so sick looking. Uh, hey man, good morning everyone. Glad to see you. I'm excited to see the new stuff. I appreciate you stopping by, uh, Yashanin Gaming. Am I saying your name right? I feel like I'm butchering your name, bro. But I appreciate you stopping by. And I'm also really excited to check out this new stuff here. Mostly want to see, like, if they got any new materials. Uh, maybe we can actually do platinum now once we do the towers. But like I said, we're not going to be doing the story stuff today, so we'll save the towers for probably tomorrow. Discord hasn't said you're streaming. Yeah, Discord must be uh, all buggy. YouTube waited seven minutes to tell me uh, tell you that I was on. Yeah, there must be something wrong with either Discord or the YouTube stuff. I just got an herb from that. It's, so those aren't new enemies either. Those were in the other biome. The little graveyard. If I remember correct, I believe the original autumn biome had a graveyard as well. And I believe that's why we did the Halloween event there. That's just silver, yeah. So what's new with the game? Uh, other than the biome, the only really new things I've uh, seen so far is that they put... The mission items, like uh, the petrified wood and like the, the fragments and stuff like that. They basically just put that on the map, which is honestly really cool. I'm glad they did that. You get the bones from the graves? Okay, cool. I'll have to remember that, just in case I need any later on. But so far, I'm not too sure what else is new. Guess we'll figure that out as we go here. 
Maybe we'll just go around the outskirts, then make our way in. But also, um, let me know if the audio is good, because with the update, for some reason, it reset all my settings. But if the game's too loud at all, just let me know. I think it reset my graphics settings as well, because everything's looking a little too pretty. <laughs> Yeah, I turn my grass render all the way up. We don't want that. Dave's waiting for the nightfall for the skeletons. Honestly, yeah. I was having a real pain trying to get uh, bones in the beginning just because of that. So I'm kind of glad they added this area. We got a little trial over here. The fighting trial, we'll do it. Like I said, just let me know if that's too loud. Because uh, the settings got reset, unfortunately. It's a little loud for me. Oh, there's wizards. I hate the wizards. Worst enemy in the game. The wizard just put out a lightning ball? Yeah, he did. Pushing all the wrong buttons today. Can I just take him out? Stop moving. Got 12 seconds. There. It's a bit loud, but can just hear the music. Alright, yeah, let me turn that down then. Sorry about that, guys. Like I said, uh, it reset all my settings. It's kind of annoying. So I'll still that down to 25. We'll put that down to 20. And if this stuff's too low now, just let me know and I can always change it back. Or turn it up a little bit more. It's just really loud on my end. <laughs> what is that? Is that a cave? really like the textures on these rocks, though. They're really nice. So this new area doesn't look like it's the biggest. But I'm sure we still have a decent amount we can actually go out and like explore and stuff. wonder if there's anything cool on top of these. I feel like for the other biomes, there's not. Yeah, no, it's just empty. I feel like there should be chests in these, right? Kind of just want to get the high ground right now so we can just look around, see what's new. See what there is. I think those are new cows down there. We got a really big tree over there. I think that's a soul orb in the distance. We might have to grab that real quick. But I wonder what materials are new, though. That's, like, my main thing I want to see. I guess the best way to do that is check out the requirements. Yeah, we'll just, uh, look at the towers, see what they need. We're not gonna work on them today, but we'll just check them out real quick. Okay, and that just needs a couple herbs for the first one, so that's actually pretty easy to do. So what other, uh... New updates happen. World boss out and are able to capture them yet? Um, I'm not too sure. If you want, I could pull up the patch notes real quick if you wanna if you want me to take a look. Not too sure about the whole boss stuff though, so let me just see. New content added. Let's see what we got. Uh added rewards for Offering souls orbs to Anubis. They added rare leather. Basically advanced version of the leather there. Sorting machine. Three-way sorting machine. Distributor. And a three-way distributor. That's actually pretty cool. They added stumps to the cherry blossoms. Which is good. Because I was literally just complaining about that last episode. So that's pretty cool they did that. 
We got new missions. You can check out the mission screen. Uh, they added the caves, which unlock uh, are dangerous to enter, but might. But they have uh, rewards in there, it seems. Okay. There's a lot to go through here, so I'm kind of just going to skim some of this, see if I can find anything about that for you. But honestly, for the most part, it's kind of looking like fixes. Alright, so yeah, there's bug fixes right here just alone. Wow, look at that page. It's still going. That's crazy. From here to here there's nothing but fixes. That's nuts. But yeah, I don't see anything about uh being able to capture bosses on there at all. So maybe that's not out yet. I really want to find one of these new caves though. See how much of a struggle we have in that. See if it's as difficult as they say. Three ways nice. Yeah, that's actually gonna be huge for like automations, I feel like. Your cat's gonna have a grand old time trying to figure that stuff out. Yeah, we got some new cows over here. What are those hell cows? Oh, okay. Those things are pretty cool looking actually. Not seeing any new resources though. Got a village over there. Check it out. And that's probably where uh, Camille's gonna end up spawning for the story. But we're not gonna mess with that today. I just checked the merchant though. To see if it's gonna continue um that little quest with uh, the seeds and stuff you get for your gardens. Alright, he just got potions. The device comes out next time you advance the world. Uh, oh, the giant crossbow thingy. Oh, that's uh, the chain restraint, right? I think that's what it's called. Might as well get these fast travels. But yeah, I didn't see anybody there for the seeds. So maybe you don't continue the story for that anyway. I don't know. I didn't get that far with uh, my farming stuff just yet. I think the farthest I made with the farming is uh, grapes. I think that's where I'm at. And that's just more what? Silver? Yeah. Honestly, it doesn't look like there's too, too much. Kind of just open space for the most part, it seems like. The soul orb? No, lame. Okay, we do have new trees here. Mushroom tree? Uh, wood? Okay. So yeah, these are new. And I'm assuming we're going to need these for one of the towers. So I think we'll probably just stock up on some of these now. Might as well. So there's something new. I just had a thought. If there's a new tree, then there's probably a new Alexandrite. And then probably a new Ancient Doll Fragment, too. If I had to guess, anyway. Might as well get, like, 30, 40 of these. I think we're gonna need at least 20 for the tower if they do require uh any of this like i said there must be a new uh alexandrite as well if there's new wood i guess we'll have to keep an eye out for the crystals those are just yellow monos
Uh, Camille has some things in the first village to give you. Oh, okay. I'll go check that out. But, uh, how's it going, Mystica? Good to see you. I hope you're having a great one today. We'll go talk to Camille here in a second. I figured we might as well gather some of these new resources. We'll probably need them, like, later on anyway. But I just realized, actually... Maybe we don't need that for the story. Because it's not marked on the map like these other ones. Maybe that's not needed. I have no idea. Guess we'll find out eventually. It's getting way too dark. Yeah, we'll go talk to Camille real quick since it's dark out. But yeah, like I said at the beginning of the stream here, it probably won't be the longest just because I got a ton of things I got to do later today. So we'll probably be on here like an hour or so. I tried the legacy version uh, the last night while waiting. It wasn't working right, not saving my levels or my inventory at all. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't played a classic honestly since probably i don't even know a couple months ago at least good but my fps is in the oh it has has risen too much to play but you did go see camille okay that's a shame that uh your frame rates are acting up for you Maybe check your settings, because uh, it reset all my settings. It had, um... The graphics turned up quite a bit and stuff. I had to go through and turn them back down. So maybe go through and check that out. See if it messed any of your settings up. I'm trying to see if it turned on motion blur. We don't want that. Alright, that's still off. Yeah, let's go see what Camila wants. Kind of curious now. Anything good? What's up, lady? And now she's saying that she's never seen me before. We'll try it later. Yeah, we already know all this from her. We've had this conversation before. Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna skip through this. We literally had this conversation with her before. What is all that? These are special items found? Oh? Okay. I'm a little confused, but alright. They can only be found here. By offering these to the tower, you should be able to perform the age evolution. Alright. Hey, what's up, Joker? Good morning, bro. How you doing today? He gives you things needed. Alright, cool. So that's like uh, some less stuff we have to worry about, at least. So that's pretty sweet. Go up to the tower and try it out. I will do. I have to get rid of some stuff. game update today so show me new content i got you bro don't worry we were just over uh in, um what's it called the new biome there for a minute we're gonna be going back there once we're done here i just need to make some room i'll just offer that for now why can't i pick that up still I not offer that? Okay, so is offering broke now? Guess not. Alright, so what tower does she want me to go to? Does she just want me to go to the one that's here, or what is that? Medic and Village?
Yeah, I guess we'll just go check that out real quick. See if that's the tower. So what? Do we get like a... A free like age evolution then? I might have maxed out the one thing in offerings. You right. I didn't think of that. Let's probably look at that stuff real quick. Because technically, this is my character from classic mode. But I probably do have a bunch of stuff in my picture book already. It looks like I have some stuff done here. I'm not going to go through, like, every individual thing, but... I'm going to take a quick look. Oh, I didn't even know I had a captain's hat. All right, here, you can have that. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. Apparently, I have a few things. And is under mats. All right, yeah, I'll take a look at that real quick, actually. Oh, yeah, there's a thing up here. I didn't even see this. Cards? Are they ever going to add cards in the game? Sand. Oh, okay, I have sand done. <laughs> That's why. And I have stone done, apparently, and straw and wood. I don't really mess around with the offerings way too much, honestly. Uh, I don't have, like, any of that stuff. Okay. Maybe it's a different tower? But I was right about that, so... Okay, and there is new ancient doll fragments as well. And it's not Alexandrite's topaz, okay. We'll check out the second tower real quick. It's probably the same though, requirements. That's a lot of stuff to collect. Just to upgrade to the new age. Yeah, that is quite a few things, isn't it? Your character just needs a long coat and he'll look like the one from SEO. Uh, you're talking about Kirito, right? I love SEO. One of my favorite animes ever. Okay, so yeah, it's the same for everyone. They change it from needing boss keys to get materials? Honestly, that's what I'm thinking. I don't know. Because there was key requirements for that yesterday. But now I think they did change it. Alright, so we'll go back to the new area here. Go check it out. Do a little more exploring. Maybe we can find some of those topazes. Finally killed the griffin, then made... Uh, the Beastmaster's Cloak? Hey, that's awesome, Mystica. How is the Beastmaster's Cloak? Is it any good? It's probably got, like, decent enchants on it, right? Yeah, we're just gonna go through and just basically explore the rest of this. I think we'll just go around it first and then make our way in. Oh, stuck on a tree. First, uh, the writing was a bit better for the first season, and a little longer, and I would have loved more boss battles along the way. Honestly, bro, I totally agree. I wish the season was a, uh, first season was a little bit longer, and I wish there was a lot more of uh, the raids that they did and stuff like that. It's kind of cool that they did some of the flashbacks like in the later seasons. I feel like a lot of that stuff should have just been in the original season, like the first season. But honestly, I think they were just, you know, testing the water to see how well the, the show did. But yeah, I love SEO, though. It's a great anime. Some people hate it, but I love it. King Mono, 
bear palms and uh, humans on your cloak. I don't think I have like any enchants on anything I have actually. Yeah, no. I'm slack a lacking like usual. I don't understand enchant, so I just don't even bother. I don't know, it's just way too complicated for me. Same with uh, refining your weapons and stuff. I don't understand it. I tried to do it, but it made no sense. Someone should uh, refine some gear for me. I'd appreciate it. <laughs> Altar of Underworld? I think that's new. You, got, you think I should try that? I think we're going to try it. I don't know what that is, but... I'll probably get molly -wopped. Oh. So you want me to just mine these? Is that not it? You don't want me to mine it? I did love the show and the movies. Not sure yet if uh, the next season... After the Insane War arc. And that's the... Um, trying to think. That's the third season, right? That they did that? I can't remember what it's called. I know it starts with like an A or something like that. But yeah, the movie honestly was really good. I was actually fortunate, uh, fortunate enough to watch the movie in theaters when it came out. I actually think that was the first anime I've ever even seen in theaters. I'm gonna go try to find um, that Topaz stuff. That's just gold. Yeah, we don't need that. Someone messed up the placement there. <laughs> yeah, I wonder where these topazes are. The same with uh, the ancient doll thingies. We got some foxes right there, right? Wolves. Never mind. They look like foxes. Yo, now I really want to go watch that SEO movie again. <laughs> been a minute since I've seen that. Uh, there was a cut marble thing hidden. You need to break the tombstones. Find the blue light under them. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wasn't too sure what was happening there. We can always go back and do that some other time. I love my little website here with every anime ever on it, English and uh, the Sun versions on it. That's pretty sweet. I've watched quite a few different animes. I would prefer to watch animes dubbed mostly just because I watch anime while I do other things. But I do watch subs as well. But I only get to uh, really watch subs when I'm like sitting down actually watching it. Otherwise, I just put on dubbed because I like to clean the house and just watch anime. Currently, right now, I'm actually watching One Piece. I'm like 450 episodes in. Put a point into sense of minor speeds up mining. Yeah, I definitely should do that, shouldn't I? What else can I get rid of? We'll get rid of some of that. But I do have um my off stream farming account. I have uh basically all the skill points into like the mining and the wood chopping stuff for that. So when I'm not playing on like my main account, I switch over to that and I do all my mining and stuff on there. So this is more like 
my combat stream account and then my other one's like my off stream farming account if that makes any sense you ready for the live action version of one piece should be interesting to see i mean yeah honestly i'm not gonna lie i watched the trailer a couple times and i think they might actually do it pretty good i can't believe i'm saying it but i think they might pull it off You know how all the other live action animes came out. Absolute trash. <laughs> Honestly, I got high hopes for this. And I, I, like I said, I can't believe I'm saying that. But from the trailer, it looks like they did the, the first like two or three arcs pretty well. Just from the trailers anyway. And I don't think the actor choices were too terrible, in my opinion. finish the witcher uh, series uh it was not that good in my opinion yeah i've seen that they came out with that i actually didn't watch any of it at all though not gonna lie i didn't even give it a chance <laughs> but now for uh the last of us tv show they did that pretty well i give them props they actually pulled that off real good The worst was the Dragon Ball movie, bro. Don't remind me. <laughs> uh, that movie. It's so bad, but I still love it just because of how bad it is. It's one of those ter uh, terrible movies you just gotta love because of how bad it is, you know? But I'll agree, it is absolute trash. Yeah, they did pretty good with the Halo series as well. There was a few things they probably could have improved on, but I feel like they did all right for the most part. What's this? Oh. I actually wasn't expecting that to work. You guys got me wanting to watch some anime. Maybe uh, after stream, we'll throw on some One Piece in the Discord. Have a little watch party. Uh, that reminds me. Uh, the one girl. Yeah, I remember I was watching her in before TV Kids. I'm not too sure what you're talking about, Coffee. What show you're talking about, anyway. Oh, yeah, you did watch uh, The Last of Us with us, didn't you? You hate One Piece? I don't know. I think it's pretty funny. I think it's pretty good in my opinion. I like it. Like it has its uh, not as good moments, but I think it's pretty good in my opinion. Hey, what's up, Evie? How you doing today, bro? Good to see you, man. My number one video game movie was Silent Hill. Uh, second, not as much. At least the first one felt like it was trapped in the world. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a huge fan of, of like horror movies, let alone horror video games. But I did play the Silent Hill games, I just didn't watch the movies. I, I'm just not really about horror movies. I don't know, they're just not for me. Well, that's a little glitch in the ground there. But yeah, now I'm kind of thinking about watching some One Piece after stream now. If you guys wanted to join me. I'll throw it on in Discord. We can have a little watch party while I get some cleaning done. And if you guys are interested, let me just throw a Discord link in chat. In case you guys aren't in there yet. But yeah, if you guys want to stay up to date on like all live stream videos and like watch parties and game nights, then the Discord is definitely the best place to be. Wow, they really rushed this, didn't they? I feel like the placements for a lot of this stuff is not where it should be. <laughs> You'll love the Silent Hill movies if you're a fan of the game. Yeah, I'm sure I'd probably like it. I don't know. Like, I'm not scared of scary movies, but for some reason, I get nightmares very easily. That's, like, the whole reason why I just don't really watch horror movies. 
I don't know. Like I said, I'm not scared of like horror movies or nothing like that, but like I get nightmares just super easily. Like the one time I played my VR for like three hours one day playing a zombie game. I had the worst zombie nightmare that night. <laughs> Is it going to be the beginning of One Piece? No, I'm like over 500 episodes deep. <laughs> so I'm going to be starting off where I've uh, been continuing, if that's okay with you guys. I'm sorry, I'm just too far in to start that over. There's over a thousand episodes of that show. But if you guys want, I could... uh. Try to find a little recap. Okay, so that's the border right here. So we can't go any farther that way. We still haven't found uh, the topaz yet, though. What is this? Let's play for the next biome. No worries, coffee. Hope you have a good one. I appreciate you stopping by. It was good chatting with you. Okay, so you can't even break that. I've been uh, playing those and watching horror all kinds since I was like 10. Uh, even the original Doom. Yeah, I don't know. I never really had nightmares as a kid, but like now that I'm older, watching horror movies gives me nightmares. It's weird. Maybe it's because I'm old now. I can't see like anything at the moment, not gonna lie. Being colorblind with this darkness is kind of a pain. Is that a griffin? I think that's a griffin. We're gonna just leave him alone. I don't want to get bullied by him today. Still very curious where these uh, topazes are though. And try to grab most of these fast travels just so it's easier to go around the map i can't see anything hope you brought a bed i don't think i did might be able to craft a thingy real quick i'm colorblind but never knew it i seem to have trouble with reds and oranges Honestly, Mystica, Sam. I have troubles with red, oranges, pinks, blues, and uh, sometimes yellow. It depends on the shade. But I'm like terribly colorblind. I see almost like everything gray for the most part. Unless it's like a really, really bright color. It's hard for me to see it. And purples too. I have a hard time seeing uh, lighter purples. If it's like a dark midnight purple, I can see that no problem. Yeah, I'm really bad with colors in general. And it doesn't help I also need glasses. And I haven't worn those in over 10 years. What's all this? Does this go underground? Oh, I think it goes underground. Oh, okay. Hello. I'm just gonna get bullied now. The army missed it too during my exam. Uh, is that is that a slight difference? Oh, is that slight of a difference? Oh, okay. My bad. I can't read today. Doesn't look like there's really too much in here. They're just like random enemies. I think I just seen a soul orb behind that. Yep. Gotta love it when things don't load in right. <laughs> I'll see a dungeon while you're on. 
I don't know if they added any new dungeons, but do you want me to go to one of the new caves they added? Because apparently caves are open up now. Better be happy you can somewhat see without glasses. Uh, because you're you're blind as a bat without them. I mean, I, yeah, I'm basically the same way, but I can see, like, the outlines of things, so... I'm pretty good with guessing, for the most part. Oh, you meant the caves? Okay, I got you. I don't know if there's any in this new area here, but I do know there is a cave next to one of these fast travel areas. Reading and typing are hard for you as well at the moment. Yeah, I think it's just a little too early for reading and typing today. <laughs> It's probably one of the earliest I've been live in a little while. Alright, let me fast travel back to my base. I just, um... Take a teleport. Um, what's it called? One of those caves there. We're just gonna have to find a cave, though. Because I'm not too sure where uh, they actually spawned at. I know there's quite a few of them. And it spawned me here. Of course it did. Oh, that's because I put a bed down, yeah. And I slept over there, I forgot. Oh, did he? Oh, I don't know. He doesn't tell me anything about that kind of stuff. Me and him aren't technically as close as we used to, so we used to be anyway. I actually haven't even like been on Discord basically like, all day today either. But the announcements is probably just for the update. If I had to guess. Oh, all the orbs respawn too? That's pretty cool. I'll have to go around and collect some of those again. If I remember correct, I think there's actually a cave right here at this one. That's pretty sick that the orbs respawn. Now you can get a bunch more rewards. And I think they actually uh, added new rewards to that stuff as well. Yep, the cave's open, okay. Let's check it out. Oh, I forgot I can swim fast. <laughs> and as always, I appreciate everyone hanging out in chat. Much love to you guys. And if you guys are enjoying, I'd appreciate if you smash that like button. It means a lot to me if you do. Okay, it is dark in this cave. Yeah, very dark. There's just a bunch of enemies right there. A hollow Earth theory of uh, Craftopia is real? That's a fact, Mystica. Yo, honestly, that'd be really cool. Like, have an entire biome, like, in the middle of the planet. Hope you're listening, Pocket Pair. We have the best ideas here. See? We have the best ideas. <laughs> That's awkward. You guys didn't see that? That didn't happen? That's what I'm saying, Mystica. Oof. I don't know if I have a torch, to be honest. I kind of hope I do. If this game was on VR, how good would it be? Uh, I mean, that really depends. If Pocket Pair was the one to, like, port it over to VR. 
I mean, I guess it really depends how it ran. But honestly, I think the game would be absolutely insane in VR. I wouldn't play it any other way. <laughs> Unfortunately, they removed the VR mod from Steam. But they removed that probably months ago. But they did originally have a, a VR mod at one point for Steam, but it wasn't on there for very long. I will never know, can I use VR? Because it gives me migraines. Yeah, I can see how it could do that. They are very, very intense on the eyes. I think I could really only play my VR for like two hours at the most, before my head starts pounding. Wish we were in the SAO age already. Ready Player One would be awesome to feel like uh, we're really in the world. I know, honestly, I totally agree. And uh, if SAO was real, and they still did the same things in the show where if you die in the game and you die in real life, I'll still be the first one to sign up for the game. Like, I don't care. Put me in there. <laughs> I'll be a, a beta tester for SAO. You even gotta pay me. I'll do it for free. I didn't realize I said explosive until I hit it. I thought that was an enemy. I just seen a health bar, so I started attacking. Yeah, I think I do need a torch. Torch is very much needed. And hopefully this time I'm not sitting here swinging at barrels, sinking their enemies. But, um, Yushan Gaming, if you like, uh, SAO, there's actually this BR game that's actually a lot like SAO. It's basically like a... Like a big, uh, MMO, RPG, or whatever. And it's pretty cool. I actually played it on stream, like, once way back. I didn't play it for too long, though. But I do play it quite often off stream. I would like to bring VR streams back. It's just my PC can't really handle it. What uh, SEO game was that? Um, now I gotta think of the name of it. What is it called? Uh, what is it called? Hold on. I'm having a brain fart. Oh, it's called Zenith, The Lost City. That's what it's called. You have most games of SAO on your account? Oh, well, it's not like an actual like SAO game. It's just kind of like SAO. But I do actually have some of those on Steam as well. My favorite SEO game probably is GGO, which is a Fatal Bullet. I think that game's fantastic. I actually have quite a few hours on my Xbox for that. Alright, let's go. What? Apparently, I turned around. Alright. I literally have no sense of direction. Played many MMOs. From WoW to FF14, Star Wars The Old Republic, all the good stuff. And uh, DCU as well. Yeah, the, um, the Zenith Online, that's a VR MMO. But yeah, it's a, honestly a lot like SAO. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna run past these guys. Fought them already. Did you play the DLC and get the true ending? Are you talking about for uh, Fatal Bullet? Because I actually never completely finished it. I got pretty far. I just didn't fully finish the game. I don't play my Xbox anymore. That's why. Like, I literally only play my PC now. Or my VR.
You'll never play WoW again. I'm not gonna lie, I've actually never, like, really played it. I think I played it once for, like, 20 minutes. My friend of mine was showing it to me. I think that was probably the only time I've ever played it. What is this? Oh, a chest. I thought it was, like, some kind of weird farm. What don't I need? We really don't need crystals. We can get that basically anywhere. We'll just take those. Probably some good cash. And then there's nothing there. I feel like these are here for a reason, right? Eat. Merry Christmas. I don't know how that didn't kill me. I'll take it. <laughs> Too many corrupt players for my liking. Yeah, I'd believe it, honestly. Okay, so it's just an elevator? Okay. This is pretty cool. I wish we could, uh, like, build an elevator like this. So these are, like, basically mini dungeons. Yeah, because that's the first boss you fight in the first dungeon right there. Okay, so I'm guessing there's a secret exit behind the thingy. Alright, before we fight him, let me just drink some of my coffee real quick. I need to pair myself. Alright. I think we got this. He's only level 20, so... Shouldn't be too bad. Wish we can dig a hole into the mountain. For our bases. Mystica, that would be... Like, the most insane thing ever, wouldn't it? I swear, you got, like, the best ideas. You should be working with Craftopia. So I'm prepared to hire you. Because it seems like every stream, you got, like, the best ideas. Okay, I can't do nothing. Why isn't it not let me out of there? Oh, there's a draft. Okay. I didn't realize that at first. That's kind of weird. There's, a like, a draft that pulls you. basically missed like every swing there you never ran into a, a corrupt player seems helpful and good people to me over the years playing it I don't know maybe you just got lucky then like I said I've never really played uh, World of Warcraft before so I wouldn't know anything about that hey good morning Martinez how you doing today bro I hope you're having a good one uh, this morning. Okay, so this is glitch. I'm taking damage, but I'm not actually taking damage. Oh, wait. I have a shield on. Maybe that's why. He's got, like, a barrier around him. You can't, like, get in his face or nothing. That's kind of weird. You forget uh, boss levels mean nothing sometimes. I mean, yeah. That's also true. But no, no, he's pretty easy. I think we got it. Oh, I'm dizzy. I'm doing good in you. I'm doing great today, man. Just hanging out, you know. Pretty early. I'm actually kind of awake for once. Normally, I don't wake up until like halfway through the day. <laughs> this boss again. They couldn't uh, add a new boss for this cave. I mean, yeah, it's Craftopia. Can't expect too, too much, right? I was approached by many players that offered their accounts to me for IRL cash, dude. That's crazy, Mystica. 
I'll tell you what, I'll pay you to play on my account. Make my character OP for me. So I don't struggle on stream. These are just coins. Ooh, what's that? Secret book of fighting pets? Okay. So basically that just makes our pets uh fighting skills better, I'm assuming. Let's learn that real quick. Might as well take these coins. I'm pretty broke. I could definitely use a, a cheese farm at some point. I just don't know how to make it. I think now we're gonna go back to the new biome, do a little more exploring. And I think after that, we'll probably uh, call it there, chat. That way I can get some of the real uh, IRL stuff I gotta get done done today. Have you needed it out? But no, sorry. Nah, I'm only joking, Mystica. I wouldn't have a uh, somebody do my stream stuff for me. That would make me a lazy streamer, you know? <laughs> and I don't wanna be a lazy streamer. Uh, there are pumpkins. Now for the coin farm. Okay, so they did continue that story. Okay. I was actually just wondering that not too long ago. What's up, Swift? How you doing today? I hope you're doing great. Plenty of cows and little green healing dudes. And a nice pot for water to drop. Uh, it was good. Not good anymore. You do need to enchant your stuff, though. Yeah, I really do, Mystica, I know. I've just been trying to put that off as long as possible. Because I didn't want to torture myself with having to learn enchants. I think we're going to have to have a chat with either Smeg or Scopes at some point. See if they can help me out a little bit. <laughs> yeah, let's go head back over to that new biome there. I think once we finish uh, exploring that, we probably will end it there, like I said. Just so I can get some stuff done. Pretty easy now. Yeah, I'm glad to hear it, Swift. But also, I think uh, after stream, we'll definitely do a little watch party in One Piece. If you guys want to come join for that. Palm increases attack damage. Okay, cool. And that's the palm trees, right? I get the enchants from. Okay, cool. Thank you, Mystica. You're so like you're super helpful. <laughs> like you have no idea. I appreciate you. Pop on later. Find the new update today. I mean, yeah, I'm sure he probably will. But uh, just for future reference, guys, uh, there's no uh promoting like other channels here. Like if he's here and uh helping out, that's different. Like I know he uh promotes my stuff sometimes. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I don't know how to explain it. The whole promotion thing. Because I know that he doesn't do self-promotion on his channel. So I kind of tend not to do self-promotions over here as well. Obviously, that's not self-promotion because that's not your channel. Uh, Barry increases attack as well. And human is defense plus 50. Okay. So I think I'm going to have to look at those three probably. Are the ones probably going to be best for me, I think. I definitely need attack and um, defense for sure. Oh, they added these little thingies back? Those little bird dudes? Those things were really annoying and classic. I get rid of. Do we really need one clover? Nah. Might as well grab some of these topazes though, because we need those for the that can't talk. We need those for the tower. 
I'm like slurring my words so bad today. I don't even drink, that's the thing. <laughs> How much we got? We got 22. Got the gold for cash. Yeah, I was going to do that once uh, I went back to my thing. Yeah, I just didn't throw them into the shop yet. Will you be on later today, uh, too? Um, I'm not too sure. I mean, I can be if you guys want me to. I could always come back on a little later. I do just got to get a few things done today is all. But after that, if you guys want, I could totally get on. Maybe we can even do like an open lobby if you guys wanted to come in and join. We could just do like a little farming, a little progression. Or even we could play something else too if you guys wanted. It doesn't have to be a Craftopia. I just realized tomorrow's Tuesday, but tomorrow we'll be uh, playing a little bit of Destiny 2 at some point. What else do I play? Um, uh, That's a tough question. I play a lot of different things, honestly, for the most part. There's a lot of things I can't currently play just because I don't have Game Pass at the moment. But, um... We have a uh, Skyrim with mods we were doing not too long ago. We could always go back to that. We could always play. Oh, geez, I'm drawing a blank now. I don't even know what games I own at the moment. Be nice to see you explore more of the new world. Uh, and what else do I play? I don't know. I'd have to look at my uh, Steam stuff. We were playing this game called Salt for a little bit, which is basically like a little pirate game. So there's uh, Skyrim with mods, uh, Salt. I'm about to just pull up my Steam in a second. You play New Remnant? Uh, no, that's the new game that just came out, right? I've seen stuff on it, but I don't think I don't think I've ever played that before. No. You have to update Destiny before you can join. Hey, no worries, Evie. Seven Days to Die. I've actually never played that before either. Not gonna lie. Here, I'll pull up my Steam real quick. See what I got. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. And just know a lot of these games are my cousins too, so I can't play all of these games. You love Seven Days to Die? I think Coffee, uh, Coffee also really enjoys that too. I'm trying to th uh, think of something that'd be actually like... Probably somewhat interesting to stream. Like I said, we were doing uh, Elder Scrolls here for a while. I will never play a Dark Souls game. I'm sorry, I've tried to play them before. It's not something I'm good at. <laughs> I am garbage at Dark Souls, so I don't play those types of games. Oh, we have Portal 2. I forgot I downloaded that because I was going to do streams on that at some point. There's Far Cry. I just got to figure out which games are actually mine and which ones are my cousins. Yeah, here's um that salt game. They actually just had an update as well. They added a few different things in that. I don't know. I'll do a, a little looking after the stream here and maybe we'll do like a, a little voting thing in the Discord. Do a little poll. Hey, thanks for that subscription, uh, Swift. I really appreciate you. We get some uh, hearts in chat. I'll get some in there for you as well. Yeah, I still can't do Halo, Eevee. I don't have Game Pass. Basically, all the stuff that we were streaming, I really can't do just because I don't have Game Pass at the moment. 
So that's kind of been one of my main struggles is just not having game pass so I can't do too much. I just spent way too much money on Comic Con and I just can't afford Game Pass. But again, thank you so much, Swifty. I really appreciate you. Uh, all the kids are done with a uh, with the chicken egg gathering. <laughs> no worries, Miska. Hope you have fun with the kids. It was good chatting with you. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Kind of just going through and like unlocking this map for the most part now. Seeing what else we could find that's new. But they really didn't add too, too much that's new besides like obviously the new age. Stuff like that. Which we will do eventually. Comic-Con, nice. You meet anyone famous there? It actually didn't uh, go on yet. It's um not until October is when it starts. But I'm going to be meeting Ewan McGregor, which is the actor who plays Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, David Tennant's going, and he's a Doctor Who actor. He's one of the doctors. In the entire cast of Critical Role, which is a Dungeons & Dragons thing on YouTube, the entire cast of that's going. I'm going to meet all of them. Did you do the new dungeon? No, I didn't do the new dungeon yet because I still have to do the frog dungeon first for the main story here. So we have to progress the story before we get that far. Right now, I'm kind of just checking out the new biome for the most part and exploring. And I'm probably not going to make this stream into like one of the video episodes like I have been. Mostly just because this is just an exploring stream. But when we actually do like the story stuff for it, I'll make that into a video. But, uh, and speaking of Comic Con though, when that actually does go on, I'm going to record the whole thing. And I'm going to make uh, videos on like the whole experience and share that with you guys. Unfortunately, I can't go live while I'm there. Otherwise, I would just do that. Yeah, I know how much Game Pass is, Eevee. I just can't afford it because I got, uh, like, other priorities. Real life stuff is more important, you know? At least to me. Oh, are those giant gravestones on the side? Yeah, they are. What? <laughs> That's kind of cool, but kind of weird. I wonder if we can go inside that right there. Yeah, I'm going to go check that out. This new bomb's pretty sweet, though. And there is a cave down there as well, actually. So if someone wants to give it to you, would you take it? Just curious. I mean, I don't know. I don't expect you guys to, like, just get me Game Pass and stuff like that, you know? Like, obviously, I would appreciate it if you did. Like, I'm not gonna, you know, I don't know. <laughs> but like I said, I don't. I wouldn't expect you guys to do something like that, you know what I mean? The Frog Dungeon, to me, was uh, the worst was worse uh i seriously can't talk give me a second i need to restart <laughs> to me that was the worst of the first bosses too much leaping around and damage it does honestly i i bet the leaping was absolutely a nightmare to deal with <laughs> i believe it all right it's getting really dark again let me go to sleep real quick Like I said, Evie, that's totally up to you, bro. Like, I don't want you to feel like that's something you have to do, you know? And that, the same goes with everyone in chat. Like, don't ever feel like you guys either, like, have to donate or support uh, support the channel. 
any more than you guys already do. Just know that stuff there is only there just in case you want to do that. It's never expected. But we do have a support page if you guys are interested in that, though. I feel like they would put the new dungeon down here, if anywhere. But I guess they didn't. They just put a cave down here, seems like. There definitely should have been a fast travel over here. That way you can get like in and out of this little crevice here a lot faster. We'll do this cave real quick. Deep floor crossing cave? What is this, like a jumping puzzle? I feel like this is about to be a jumping puzzle. I want to help if I actually equipped in my sword. Um. Okay, so the other way. Got a little confused for a minute. Ow. Do I have to break that? Yeah, okay. That's pretty cool. I'm really liking the, the caves, though. And they're pretty sweet. Nice little change up from the normal game. I think that's sulfur, right? Yeah, we don't need sulfur. And that's just crystal? Yep. We don't need any of that either. Okay, that's pretty cool. There's fast travels right next to the, like, the actual boss fight stuff. Not too bad. But I'm thinking, Chad, we'll, uh, just finish up this cave here. And then I'm probably gonna go make some food and, uh, start that watch party in a little bit, if you guys wanted to join me. Was that reset it? Okay, yeah. I was gonna immediately just die right there. Is there something I have to do? You know, a fun dual wield magic build, the sword ability that shoots swords. If you uh, you cast it, you can pick up the sword and then deal massive DPS. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Is that like um a certain skill you gotta buy or whatever? How do I open that up? Is it this over here? No. Okay, slightly confused. At least you don't drop your weapons and shield when you're hit by electric enemies. Yeah, true. That would be really annoying if you dropped your stuff. Okay, am I overlooking something? I probably am. I do that a lot. Maybe I should read this. Erase all floors. Oh, I got you. Like that, right? Just jump on it. And it should just fall. Okay, there we go. That made sense. See, sometimes all you gotta do is read. Which is something I don't like to do. And that's why I always get confused. What kind of blueprint we get? Okay. What did that say? Blueprint of wad of 
Banknotes? Okay. So that's for uh, the bank, right? The bank, oh, the money. Does it even really have a purpose in the game? I can't remember. It's probably just for selling, right? I would assume. I don't know. But now we're stuck way down in this little crevice here. Maybe we should just fast travel back to base and save. This might be a pretty cool place to build a base. Might be kind of difficult to build one here. Oh, that's for the bank items? Okay. It just puts more in the bank limit. Alright, yeah, I've never really messed with that bank stuff before. I wasn't too sure. Probably go sleep at the base. So I can actually spawn there. You know, they should put, like, little mini teleporters in here that teleport you to, like, the different towers. I feel like that'd be a pretty good idea. Like, a little hub area where you can just fast travel as soon as you, just, like, load in the game. I think that'd be useful. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna fast travel back to my base, and then we'll probably call it there, guys. And then uh, we'll go into the Discord and watch some One Piece. While I get some stuff done. Uh, so your watch party. Are we even allowed to do that without getting in trouble? Yeah, we can do that without getting in trouble. We've been doing it for quite a while now. Basically the whole time I've had a Discord server. We've watched quite a few shows in there. Think of everything we've watched so far. We watched The Mandalorian. We watched the Obi-Wan show. We watched another Star Wars one I can't remember. We watched all Dragon Ball Super. And we watched a couple movies in there as well. But yeah, we, we do watch parties and we don't get in trouble or none like that. It's perfectly fine. It's because it's on Discord, not on YouTube. If I did it on YouTube, I'd get in trouble. So if you're interested in that, uh, I'd recommend joining us on the Discord then. And I'll put a little thingy in chat, the link. But yeah, I think we are probably about to end it there. Let me throw these coins in here first before I forget. So we can sell that stuff. But yeah, we are probably going to end it there, guys. And uh, we'll head over into the Discord, do a little watch party, some One Piece, and just hang out and chat. But um, I hope everyone enjoyed today's episode. And thank you guys so much for hanging out. And thank you to Swifty for the subscription. I appreciate you. But uh, I hope everyone enjoys the rest of your day. And much love to you guys. And peace out.